Blasphemy Law in Pakistan, Wikipedia Article Audio The Pakistan Penal Code prohibits blasphemy against any recognized religion, providing penalties ranging from a fine to death. From 1987 to 2014, over 1,300 people have been accused of blasphemy, Muslims constitute the majority of those booked under these laws. Over 60 people accused of blasphemy have been murdered before their respective trials were over, and prominent figures who opposed the blasphemy law have been assassinated. Since 1990, 62 people have been murdered as a result of blasphemy allegations. The Constitution Laws According to one religious minority source, an accusation of blasphemy commonly subjects the accused, police, lawyers, and judges to harassment, threats, attacks and rioting. Critics complain that Pakistan's blasphemy law is overwhelmingly being used to persecute religious minorities and settle personal vendettas, but calls for change in the blasphemy laws have been strongly resisted by Islamic parties most prominently the Berylvi School of Islam. Pakistan's laws became particularly severe between 1980 and 1986, when a number of clauses were added to the laws by the military government of General Zia-ul-Haq, to Islamicize the laws and deny the Muslim character of the Ahmadi minority. Prior to 1986, only 14 cases pertaining to blasphemy were reported. Parliament through Second Amendment to Constitution on September 7, 1974, under Prime Minister Zulfikar Ali Bhutto patronage declared Ahmadi Muslims as non-Muslims. In 1986 it was supplemented by a new blasphemy provision also applied to Ahmadi Muslims. Cases under blasphemy law have also been registered against Muslims who have harassed non-Muslims. By its constitution, the official name of Pakistan is the Islamic Republic of Pakistan as of 1956. More than 96% of Pakistan's 167 million citizens are Muslims. Among countries with a Muslim majority, Pakistan has the strictest anti-blasphemy laws. The first purpose of those laws is to protect Islamic authority. By the Constitution, Islam is the state religion. By the Constitution's Article 31, it is the country's duty to foster the Islamic way of life. By Article 33, it is the country's duty to discourage parochial, racial, tribal, sectarian, and provincial prejudices among the citizens. Under Article 10A of Constitution it is also the state's duty to provide for the right of fair trial. Several sections of Pakistan's penal code comprise its blasphemy laws. Trial must take place in a court of session with a Muslim judge presiding. Religious Offenses and Punishments Except for 295C the provisions of 295 require that an offence be a consequence of the accused intent. 298 States Sharia Between 1986 and 2007, Pakistani authorities charged 647 people with blasphemy offences. 50% of these were non-Muslims who represent only 3% of the national population. No judicial execution for blasphemy has ever occurred in Pakistan, but 20 of those charged were murdered. The only law that may be useful in countering misuse of the blasphemy law is PPC 153A, whoever by words, either spoken or written, or by signs or by visible representations or otherwise, promotes or incites, or attempts to promote or incite, on grounds of religion, race, 
place of birth, residence, language, caste, or community or any other ground whatsoever, disharmony or feelings of enmity, hatred, or ill will between different religious, racial, language or regional groups or castes or communities shall be fined and punished with imprisonment for a term that may extend to five years. On January 12, 2011, Prime Minister of Pakistan Yusuf Raza Jilani once again said that there would be no amendments to the blasphemy law. Vigilantism The Federal Shariat Court is a religious body which rules on whether any particular law is repugnant to the injunctions of Islam. If a law is repugnant to Islam, the president in the case of a law with respect to a matter in the federal legislative list or the concurrent legislative list, or the governor in the case of a law with respect to a matter not enumerated in either of those lists, shall take steps to amend the law so as to bring such law or provision into conformity with the injunctions of Islam. In October 1990, the FSC ruled that 295C was repugnant to Islam by permitting life imprisonment as an alternative to a death sentence. The court said the penalty for contempt of the Holy Prophet, is death. The FSC ruled that, if the President did not take action to amend the law before April 30, 1991, then 295C would stand amended by its ruling. Death of Mashal Khan Promptly after the FSC's ruling in 1990, Bishop Danny L. Taslam filed an appeal in the Supreme Court of Pakistan, which has the power to overrule the FSC. In April 2009, the Sharia appellate bench of the Supreme Court considered the appeal. Deputy Attorney General Aga Tariq Mahmood, who represented the federal government, said that the Sharia appellate bench dismissed the appeal because the appellant did not pursue it. The appellant did not present any argument on the appeal because the appellant, according to reports, was no longer alive. Consequently, it appears to be the law in Pakistan that persons convicted under 295C must be sentenced to death with or without a fine. United Nations those who are accused of blasphemy may be subject to harassment, threats, and attacks. Police, lawyers, and judges may also be subject to harassment, threats, and attacks when blasphemy is an issue. Those accused of blasphemy are subject to immediate incarceration, and most accused are denied bail to forestall mob violence. It is common for those accused of blasphemy to be put in solitary confinement for their protection from other inmates and guards. Like those who have served a sentence for blasphemy, those who are acquitted of blasphemy usually go into hiding or leave Pakistan. Mashal Khan was a Pakistani student at the Abdul Wali Khan University Martin who was killed by an angry mob in the premises of the university in April 2017 over allegations of posting blasphemous content online. Internet Censorship Pakistan's support of blasphemy laws has caused it to be active in the international arena in promoting global limitations on freedom of religion or belief and limitations on freedom of expression. In March 2009, Pakistan presented a resolution to the United Nations Human Rights Council in Geneva which calls upon the world to formulate laws against the defamation of religion. See Blasphemy in May 2010, Pakistan blocked access to Facebook because the website hosted a page called Everybody Draw Muhammad Day. Pakistan lifted the block after Facebook prevented access to the page. In June 2010, Pakistan blocked 17 websites for hosting content that the authorities considered offensive to Muslims. At the same time, 
Pakistan began to monitor the content of Google, Yahoo, YouTube, Amazon, MSN, Hotmail, and Bing. On March 19, 2014, Pakistani English language newspaper, The Nation, conducted a poll of its readers that showed 68% of Pakistanis believe the blasphemy law should be repealed. Details of the survey, such as its sampling methodology, are unknown. On the other hand, the International Crisis Group reports that the Islamic parties are most successful in galvanizing street power when the goal is narrowly linked to obstructing reforms to discriminatory religious laws that often provoke sectarian violence and conflict and undermine the rule of law and constitutionalism. Public Opinion Arrests and death sentences issued for blasphemy laws in Pakistan go back to the late 1980s and early 90s. Despite the implementation of these laws, no one has yet been executed by the order of the courts or governments as to date, only imprisoned to await a verdict or killed at the hands of felons who were convinced that the suspects were guilty. Selected Cases Some of the widely reported cases were In December 2017, a 58-year-old man accused of blasphemy was freed after spending over nine years in jail. Bahawal Nagar District Court and Lahore High Court sentenced the man to life imprisonment which was overruled by Supreme Court of Pakistan as the evidence used were not in accordance with the Evidence Act.